Are we live? Are we live? Are we really fucking live? Are we live? <coughs> God! Oh God! Hallelujah! We are live! We are live! We are really fucking live! Saint Jesus, thank the Lord, we are live! Oh, the river to the sea, to the plains of Mozambique. We are live. Oh, God, we are live. All right. Let's start off with this. I probably would have went a little bit longer, but nothing... No arm here. Oh, great. I, I don't understand. I, I don't understand, Indian bitch. But I understand nothing. Or it looks like you're getting ready to make a grilled cheese. Okay. That's clearly margarine. Why are you pressing your bread down, my dear? Kamala Harris, can you can you translate for me, please? We have an egg. Why do they need a specialty tool for cracking an egg? I don't know. It looks like a garlic powder and <coughs> black pepper. It doesn't even look toasted. What are you doing? Okay, well, then at least put a fucking lid on it. Finally, thank fucking Christ and his cock sucking cross. Be right back. All right, so you have some toast and has some fried egg in it. That's tomato sauce. What the fuck is going on? She killed the heat in the pan. I assume she did. All right, and now we have corn for some fucking reason. What olives? Oh my god, she's got black eyes. What the fuck is this? What is this? Hold on. God damn it. You should be able to hear shit. It's coming through just fine on my end. All right, can people hear me? तो पांच मिनट के बाद मैं ढक्कन जब इसका खोलूंगी ना Again, I, I can't understand you at all, bitch. Great. All you did was get a single lasagna slice out with shit that doesn't go together. Sorry, sweetheart. Corn and olives don't go together. Well, I know for a fact corn ain't part of Indian culture because corn comes from half a world away. Same thing with olives. Same with sour cream. So, stop culturally ta ripping us apart. Because today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make... E You're the stay-at-home mom? Wow, must you have dick sucking skills. Easy cheesy quesadillas. Then, then about a tablespoon of salsa on that other half. If you want to add on any other vegetables. Dude, sweetheart, the, 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 the quesadilla would be too fat to actually close. At least close properly. But all right, you do you. Just sprinkle those right. Serve them up with sour cream, guacamole, and salsa on the like I said, I, I, I don't know. 
Not the biggest fan of this version, but that's me. The side. You know this chick sucks. Sucks. Uh, Shalong like a champ. All right. Seriously, not gonna get his water from that infected pile of shit. Well, I could have at least uh, had the dough for three days. All right, we're doing this one. T. Byers is going to share with you the most delicious, creamy, and cheesy lasagna recipe, which is my one of All the. All right, screw it. We're not gonna do that one because I'm tired of listening from people from India. What, what more could you possibly do? You've already turned the bowl of whatever the fuck that is into vomit. What more could you possibly do? We're going to add some bacon bits to our chili. I have to go now and get a towel because of the mess I made. And that's not as big of a disaster as you adding bacon bits to whatever in the fuck this is. What's the chat? The chat shouldn't have anything to say. I mean, hell, if they want a wanted bitch to live with my mother, why did I leave the door open just now? I don't care. Whatever. They're going to say what they're going to say. Get all the bacon bits in there. I know I should go on longer, but screw it. I'm going to put a poll in. One is, you want to watch the rest of the JFS thing, or go with actual cooking's latest video, which, by the way, is five months old. Actual Jake, Jake has won the vote. All right, I think I have done this, because this was five months ago. This was ba way back before I... Said I wasn't going to go after him. Uh, actually. Yeah, this is way before the, the thing. This is way back in April, so. All right. Cr crispy, perfect hash browns. Browns. Instead of using a real potato, which in my opinion is a superior hash brown, uh, you just have to. Believe it or not, I tend to agree. You have more starch than the actual potato. Um, it's not that big of a deal, so yeah, you do you. I prefer a real potato. Hash well, no, it, it does, because dice hash browns follow a different set of rules, my friend. That's why I have like a paper towel down here. I also have some chai. By the way, you should also have a paper towel whenever you uh, season meat. It's from my garden. <laughs> Uh, although I would make this for a group of people because I'm a little sicko. Love making work for myself. Uh, okay, so that's one potato. You, 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 wait, wait. It's all you, grated. You said that, a potato, that one of them could easily feed two. How big of a group of people are we talking about here? Shred through your three potatoes. You have six people. 
at that fucking at that point fine go with frozen just get just to get down any excess water off uh also what we're gonna do here uh you, you don't have to use a salad spinner you can use a bowl and just squish them uh it'll be a little bit better if you uh you want kind of a non-stick situation or uh the least sticky thing and he's sitting here telling me how to do this I wouldn't use this, although you can if it's well seasoned uh, and you do it right. Uh, Always use a cast iron pan when you're do dealing with hash browns. I want to get this up. Nonstick can't get high enough to where the outside is crispy and the inside is tender. Okay? Nonstick has never been able to make shit. Again. Nonstick has never made anything successful in the potato market. There's a reason. Spread them out a little bit. Making shit up according to Jake. Not actually bothering to fact check that he might be wrong. Have you ever considered, Dagoresh, that Jake could be wrong? That maybe, just maybe, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. We're going to take this cornstarch. I mean, I don't really care. You're going to believe what you want to believe, and I couldn't give a shit less. And we don't have to measure it or anything. Just, you know. But again, maybe, just maybe, open up your mind to the possibility that Jake's full of shit and I'm actually right. Uh, and this no, no, by all means, question the Lord. Challenge the Lord. But all I'm saying is, did you ever once poss classify the chase full of shit? This is going to help congeal this. That I actually know what the fuck I'm talking about. Uh, you can see to the left of me, I have... Okay, that would be just garnish, so it doesn't matter how they're cooked. You're chopping garnish, my dude. An egg and cheese? I'm gonna... And you're not even holding your fingers properly. And this is where I throw a real sense of shade at you being a motherfucking restaurateur. Or a, or a general manager that knows what's going in the kitchen. You just showed right there you held your fingers improperly. It's not for nothing. I mean, I have no intention of starting the war again, but you did hold your fingers improperly. You make uh, a hash brown, it just goes per. And this is level one. Shit. People that haven't gone to culinary schools know how to hold their fingers. Except I've not said that I'm better than anyone. Jake has routinely said he's better than me. And he doesn't even know day one of basic culinary school. <laughs> you can like what you like. It's no big deal. I'll Guarantee a blood taste test. I'd whip your ass. I'm gonna put some six to ten minutes, depending on the size and heat you have going. You don't just let them cook. You do remember the golden rule of cooking. Well, we'll see if you remember it. On homogenous, delicious hash brown. What is the one thing you're supposed to be doing right now? What is it? You know, right. 
um, uh, because we'll be able to see some browning around the edges. Uh, we'll be able to see probably nits, and you can see the edge. By the way, I would like to point out this motherfucker has never once challenged me or made a recipe better than, than me. Edges are like this. Uh, I don't want this egg that I'm going to make to go on it to fry up too hot. All right, so pop the cheese on there, and then that's hash browns. This is how I eat them sometimes. Nice cheesy. We'll get it just a delightful. All right, I hope you make them. Oh fuck, he's up! Okay. I was sleepy and enjoying it. Dude, that's how you talk to people. That's how you talk to people. It is not 3.30 in the morning, by the way. Mm, yes, yes, yes. I am live again. Had a bit of a hiccup on uh, Dave's screen show, but now I'm back. Doesn't fucking matter. And, uh, yeah. Rumor has it that it's dog shit. Apparently, there's a joke in this special that was filmed in 2024, as far as I know, where he says that you can't assume his gender or something. We're well, you can't. According to the laws of the side that you befriend, Matt, you can never assume anyone's gender. Because anyone's gender can change at the drop of a hat, including your fucking husband, dickhead. Dink. See, here's the thing. You uploading my, my me falling asleep on the stream only works if I'm afraid of it or, or I'm uncomfortable with it or, or something. I want to bury it. No, I'll be the first one to say, yeah, that was me. Next. I'm gonna say, so let me. Yeah, you're right. I did delete it. I knew you'd archive it. It didn't matter. Okay. You're right. I have zero, zero shame, and yes, I have zero humility. You are right on that. Okay. Your head looks like a big toe. You don't like your chances? You don't like your chances. I'm sorry. Don't fucking flatter yourself. I promise you, uh, you're not going to get hit on by gay guys. They don't want to fuck you. Uh, gay. Uh, that I don't know about, my friend. People find you repulsive. Uh, gay men, straight women, all find you repulsive. 
because you are. You're not just ugly on the outside. You're also ugly on the inside. You've got nothing going. This is literally a crybaby bitch bull move. Mike knows it can't be Joe Rogan, so he's he's just going for the crybaby bitch bully move. Oh, you, you, you just just sit there and cry. It's cry. I guarantee you, I could take Joe Rogan to any strip club, offer strippers fifty bucks to fuck him. And I mean really fuck him. I'm talking penis and vagina. I guarantee you three out of the four of them would take my offer. If not more. This is hilarious to me. No, this is you realizing how how quickly your power is diminishing. And how bad the left has fucked itself. You know, it's funny. Every species can smell its own extinction. Are you the first leftist to smell yours? Because, again, you also back to Moss. Mike. Did you finally realize what a colossal fuck-up that was? All right, we're moving on, but I had to pee. And you know what that means. Lesbians! I didn't follow the story at all because I didn't give a shit about it. In full disclosure, you know, I, I just, I didn't care. Do I think Tim Pool is a paid Russian asset? No. Do I think Warren Chen is a paid Russian asset? No. I, no. Spencer is getting money. Also, even if they were taking money from the Russian government, who fucking cares? Do you honestly think that Benjamin, Lord, I, 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 look, look. Do you want to think Benjamin, Michael knows Matt Walsh can affect the outcome of the election? No. Lauren Chen offering to suck and swallow might affect one voting place, and that's it. Outcome of the election? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, I'm sorry, but... Again, I haven't heard the full story. I don't know the full... Kai Hyuk said case, but even if Lauren Chen was given money by the Russians... The most she can do is offer to suck dick at one voting location. Why are you ashamed of baldness? I mean, I'm like literally one step away. All I got to lose is a little more coverage or something. Let's just shave my fucking head. Thanks for having me. So, ugh. I'm not even. I'm not even attracted to Ben anymore. He's not a... So what is Paul Zigo by or and what the hell is going on here? A twink anymore? No, not even close. He's no. not even because a... I get a strapping young twenty-year-old male, six pack, six everything. Yeah, I don't want to fuck him because I'm a straight male. A twink? Because like. Well, okay, Paul Z goes by. Has he ever sucked dick? Took a dick up the ass? Made out with a guy? Like, where are you? Where, where are you on the spectrum, Paul? Not that I actually fucking care. Like, 
I was born in 82 and I look younger than both of you motherfuckers. Do you seriously want to get into all the dark money funneled to democratic organizations? Including ones that you motherfucking support? Do you really want to get into that? Now look, I don't know if Tim's innocent in this or not. Nor do I quite frankly care. Because again, they're so quick to condemn him. Would you like to know all the money, all the dark money is funneled to, to left-wing uh, news organizations that you fucking support? You want to be socialist cocksuckers? Yeah, but here's the problem. Tim Pool's show is an opinion show, my friend. As is yours. I could easily launch the same exact lawsuit against you. Big world class skate park in his home. He's got a, a whole. Where does he live? Do so bloody fucking what? I get it. The beanie is absurd. But so bloody fucking what? So. Bloody fucking what? Paul, if you were smart at all, you'd have done the same. Or if you and the rest of DFF, or how, before you broke it up, you and the rest of, um... Oh, God, I can't, I can't remember the fucking name of the goddamn podcast that we're on before. Well, whatever it was, you'd all be living in the lap of luxury, but again, you're fucking morons. I knew you'd have done the same fucking thing, so don't give me this shit, Paul. You know, you, you like to whine and complain and bitch and moan to your audience that you're not a capitalist, but you're just as much of a capitalist as I am. Alright, well... I gave this a chance, and the vote's in. We're gonna end the poll. 79% voted I do Jake one last time. Well, uh, or one more time, or whatever. Who cares? You know, this is why Jay's trolls can never actually get to me. Because I just don't give a fuck. Oh, you were drunk here. Oh, you were drunk there. Like, okay, yeah, sure. And I don't care. I just don't care. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see what he's got. Let, let's see what he's got. Hold on. Let me. Let me try to. Okay, he's, he's got my uh, gold rush burger. We're going to teach him how to do everything, including think. Or did you show me how to think? Good luck, because I don't like paying yeah, for shit. I, I don't like paying for shit that isn't mine. So, so hey. Thought you had me on here tonight. What the hell? What the hell? I thought you had me on here tonight. Oh, you finally had me on here. And you had a panel of people, so you need... You need to get a bunch of people... To pump you up to face me. Okay, okay, buddy.
Okay. Another one okay. from Ghost Dad. Blackout drunk. Haven't passed out now. I'm raised a pretty good point against your daddy. Love D&D. D&D &D. D &D is fucking stupid. Are you worried that I'm actually confronting Jake sober? Is that what you're worried about? Come on, come on, all you Jake sick of fans. Come on out of the woodwork. You know that's the goddamn cream. All right, let's see what he's got to say. Let's see what he's got to say. I'm not an anti-Semite. I just like to make fun of the Jews from time to time. <laughs> to get out of context. <laughs> yeah. A what? Okay. Also, even if I'm not taking it out of context, uh, why can we not make fun of Jewish people exactly? Why? That was just does a voice. I agree it's a does a voice, though. If you got that on your card. Thank you. Never mind. That's where I'm going to end this. And maybe any time I break my embargo on you, Jake, this is where this is going to end. Yeah. Why don't you go to hell? And I'm done. Good night, everyone.